Now, look, we like to have a bit of good news on GB News. And I thought yesterday, actually, England winning 3-0 against Wales was a bit of good news. We're joined by former Southampton and England star Matt Letizia. Matt, good evening. I was, I was with you on Friday when we watched a fairly, should we say pretty average, maybe even dismal, <laughs> performance against the against the USA um, last night was a lot better wasn't it uh, it was a lot better uh, unfortunately um, I don't think the opposition were were up to much quite frankly uh, I've been pretty disappointed with the Welsh performances um, in, in this tournament as, I, as I'm sure uh, many of their fans are so yes it was a very good win I, I don't think they were given a, a particularly great game um, but we have to take the positives. And uh, the, the second half, especially, I thought, uh, was, was very, very good from the England side. Uh, and it could have been uh, a lot more. There were a couple of other chances that uh, that probably should have been put in. And it could have been four or five nil. Normally, Matt, at this stage of a tournament, whether it's a World Cup or whether it's a European Championship, normally at this stage, you know, there are flags... Uh, flying off, you know, car windows. There's a general sense of buzz and excitement. And somehow this Qatari World Cup being held in the middle of the English Premier League season, the huge arguments and rows about their customs and cultures, which are rather different to ours, it doesn't feel like there's an awful lot of energy. I'm not hearing it's coming home, playing out. Is that because Qatar was a bad choice of World Cup location? Or is it because... English fans kind of know we're not really going to win this. <laughs> um, well, I think there's a, another option to that. Uh, and I, I think a lot of it has to do with the time of year that the tournament is being played. You know, we've uh, spent uh, many decades watching World Cups with the sun shining uh, and, and everybody in a, in a nice mood. Um, and yet in the middle of winter, when the, you know, the nights are drawing in, uh, the, the temperatures are dropping rapidly. Uh, it doesn't put everybody in the in the right frame of mind, I don't think. And I think that's one of the reasons why we've uh, why we've seen a, a lack of flags and and perhaps a, you know a lack of big events that are taking place that uh, where people you know will go and sit in their hundreds and thousands and uh, and watch the game. And what do you think, Matt? How far how far do you think we can go? Uh, I certainly think we can get past the, the round of 16. Uh, I think Senegal um, is a team that um, really we should be beating. I know there's been some shocks in this uh, in this competition so far and you don't want to take anything for granted. Uh, but I think when you look at the two teams on paper, uh, I think we certainly have the stronger side. So uh, so I think it's a, a, a very good chance of going through to the quarterfinals, at which stage um, – the, the chances are we'll probably meet France, uh, and I think that will be a huge challenge for us. And uh, I think that game will probably be the, the, the most important one of the tournaments. I think if we get through France, um, then I think we can start believing that perhaps, you know, we can win this thing. 